Hi, everybody. Friends, this is my uh, midweek message uh, around our community. This is a way in which I try to stay connected with you and also communicate things around our community life here at St. Clement. As you know, our folks are super busy. Our preparation in the school is underway to hopefully, with God's grace, to open our school, welcome our students, and make this the most fruitful year we uh, ever had. Our preparation is on for preparing for our religious education, youth ministry, our young adult program, our senior program, and so many other ways in which here at St. Clement, we are a community that is alive. None of it would happen without disciples of Jesus, those leaders who come forward, recognize their strengths, and out of those strengths, generously give of their time and their money and resources in order to make this place a community of engagement. You know, over the last two weeks, being a pastor here at St. Clement, I had countless conversations with councils and committees and individuals. People telling me how much this community means to them, but also how in, uh, in that community life they encounter Jesus Christ. Isn't that why we exist? We exist to introduce people to life-changing relationship in, in Christ Jesus. So as we do that, we not only can grow in our own relationships, but we can encounter the beauty of that relationship in other people. As you know, I invited uh, all of you, parishioners and members of St. Clement, to join me for my summer chats. Those are small chats for up to 25 people on Zoom call. And my invitation to you is to join those, register on our website and join me in the summer simply to pray, to have a conversation about where you are in this uh, difficult moments of COVID-19, where you are with this uh, question of, of how we are going to come back here in the fall and what will be the form of it. And what is it that you like us to do together with you? What are the ways in which you'd like to get engaged here at St. Clement so we are continuing our journey of being a flourishing community that engages, welcomes all, but also challenges all to be active members that not only experience Christ, but also lead others into that experience of Christ. My prayer for all of us is that this summer season will be a time of grace when we will recognize in our hearts what is our hunger for the Lord. What are the areas in our hearts that we really need to bring to the Lord so He will teach us from His wisdom and He will nourish us in love and service. God bless you all.